I didn't even see what that was. Was that a thing? I, I, I don't know. I, we have to go back and see. Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, it looked like legs, but that, oh, oh, my Lord. Okay, this one. Oh! Are these just random body parts? I have no idea. This is not good. Oh, Hunter. What, what do I do? I don't know. I, okay. Wait, wait. Now I have nothing to fear. Now you have nothing to think. Follow your selfish desires. Follow your natural instinct. After all, you're just an animal. It's much easier to, than trying to think. No, we need to think. We I, need to do the opposite of what that says. Oh, uh, we died. How did we die? I have no idea. That was the most bizarre, terrifying thing Whew. I've ever been through. My legs are cold. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, because it's freezing cold in no, here. No, for fear. Oh. Okay, so that note said keep it close or else it turns into something else. So I th think we have to keep an eye on it and just walk backwards. Is that what it means? I think so. What is it, though? Do we even know what we're... Well, you know, you know, you saw that worm that, like, jumped after us, right? No, I didn't see any worm. Oh. Well, I think we got too far away from running, and it turned into the worm, and it infected our minds. I like to eat cheese. I like to eat cheese, too. I don't like cheese. I, I was, okay, so I made French bread pizza today. Yes. I was making it for Hunter and I, but Hunter forgets every You should have told me you were going to make time. lunch. That I'm making lunch. So anyway. You didn't tell me. So anyway, I was having a sausage, and then I was going to put pepper jack cheese on, and then some orange cheese. Delicious. But the pepper jack cheese had mold on it. I had to throw it away. Disgusting. I know, right? Ruined everything. No, but it was still pretty good. Yeah, something comes out of the vent. Yeah. What was that? That's It's like a little thing. Is it a robot? I have no idea. Well, why are you running away from it? That's not the one we got to... That's what we have to be careful around. Oh. Oh, geez. Can we look at that a little closer? Is that a hip? It looks like just a Legs. mound of flesh. Yeah, we gotta stick close to it. We it has keep no an eye arms, it. right? Yeah. Just gotta keep an eye on it. Oh. He opened up. Oh, That's little, disgusting. Little guy's finally opening up around us. Yeah, How but sweet. I wish he wouldn't open up around God. us. Freaking stupid thing. I don't like that it's naked. <laughs> It ain't got balls. It's fine. What that? It ain't got balls. Is it's that okay. just its rib cage open? I think so. That's disturbing. Yeah, that's the whole point. It's terrifying. It's a gut mouth. It's terrifying, all right. Is it going to eat us? Not if I don't let it catch me. Oh, just think about it. It could wrap that around. Oh, and pull you in. That would be disgusting. It can pull me Does in Does it have slowly. something in its mouth? I I cannot tell. This is a lump of intestines trying to eat me. And as flattered as I am, frankly, I don't want it to happen. <laughs> You're flattered, huh? How long is this hallway? I don't know. It's a little too long. There's oh, a pumpkin. He tried to scare us. There we go. Who did? The, the walking intestine or the pumpkin? The little pumpkin tried to get us. Well, when you got this in your face, no little pumpkin's going to scare you. Pumpkin's throwing off. Is he off running it. away? No, it's throwing off its path fine. And we... No, you're going the wrong way. I think the game's having a little bit of a spurt. Well, don't get, let him get too far away or we're going to have something well, bad happen. Oh. There we go. Now he's coming back after us. He just had to smell us. This <laughs> one's really not that scary now. No, now we're used to it. Yeah, stay away from the pumpkin. Good boy. Good boy. You get a treat well, don't later. Don't be telling him good boy. Oh, what happened? It's like wrapping us up in fluid or something. Stop going backwards. What's Come a on. Are you kidding me? Did he eat us? Yeah, we died. Well, that was kind of weird. That one's dumb. Okay, yep, yeah, we're doing it right. We just got to get through the boring part. All right. So, have you guys had scary situations? I'll tell you something really scary that happened to me. I was coming home late after trying to be hypnotized. Of course, I am not hypnotizable. Not at all. I've tried. Because the man got mad at me because he had that Tom and Jerry black and white spinny thing. <laughs> and I started laughing. And so he kicked me out. Anyway, I got dropped off at you know, like a block from my house, my apartment. And I hear this little boy. He's like, like a fourth grader say, Jimmy, get her. Let's get her. So I'm thinking, come on, I can take on two or three fourth graders. Well, from around the building comes this ginormous man. 
And now I realize I'm probably in some trouble. So I take off running. He's running right behind me. I get inside the front door. The door slams shut. He assumed that it locked. So he pressed his face up against it. But he could have got me. Yeah, that, that's probably one of your scariest, like, actual stories. That scared me. What do you mean, actual stories? Like, not, not ones that we make up. I don't make up stories. You should. I really should. I'd be good at it. It's fun. But that was terrifying. Very, very scary. Even scarier than the super boring slow chase. It was way more scary than this. Look out, the foreskin monster's gonna give it back. Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> we will uncircumcise you. Okay, <laughs> Oh, I had to go to a circumcision once. As a circumcision, you performed it, right? I did. Well, I you did. You did? I did. Wow. It's not something I'd I'd want to do again. I would hope not. <laughs> I mean, it'd be weird if you wanted to do it again. Infant. You know, and everybody's off watching. A part of his willy, yeah. Everybody's watching. You, you don't want to mess that up. You know, no. you can. You know, that guy not going to get any action if you don't do this right. <laughs> so there's a lot of pressure. Under pressure. <laughs> foreskin pressure. Uh, <laughs> foreskin if you have that, pressure. go see a doctor. Foreskin in seven years ago. <laughs> Our founding foreskins. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to stop. <laughs> this is wrong. Instead of Mount Rushmore, it's around Mount Pissmore. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Okay, this has got to end soon, right? I would hope so. What should we name him? I think Foreskin. <laughs> I'm down for that. Are we going to use like the actual number four or like how well, it's actually The number spelled? four. Yeah, you got to use the number That's four. Cooler. Foreskin. <laughs> for skin and country. <laughs> for skin. <laughs> oh, uh, is that going to be the name of our band? For skin and country. I, <laughs> sure, why not? We can't unsee this now. You know that, right? Unsee the foreskin monster? Yeah, it's burned into us for life. And then when we're at parties and we talk about the foreskin monster, people are going to look at us <laughs> like we've lost our minds. People are going to like be like, oh, what do you guys do? We put this one video on by chance, and it's just like, oh, yeah, the foreskin monster. <laughs> and we never get hired ever again. Well, well, yeah, we'd never be invited to another party if we mentioned the foreskin monster. If they're cool, though, we'll be invited to every party. If they're cool. They're like, oh, are, are those the the mother and son duo that talk about foreskins? <laughs> they're my favorite. I probably shouldn't talk about it, should no, I? Who cares? It's just a part of the body. Well, I'm a mother. <laughs> I'm your mother. And I'm a father, so what? You're not a father. Oh, yeah, about that. Oh, yeah, about that. Okay, let's hear it. I I've... adopted a Taiwanese child named Drumstick. Well, bring Drumstick over. All my friends have grandkids. I got... Odin. <laughs> you got a dog. He did not shut up today. I wanted to turn him into a football. Yeah, he had a lot to say today. And it was all very, very not nice. It was negative. He was very negative today. We're going to have to talk. Well, he fell off. Did you tell him how he fell off the bed? Tell him about how he fell off the bed. Last night, uh, our dog was on my bed. And it was I was about to go to sleep. Lights out. Everyone's cozy. Uh, and he adjusts himself once. And I just hear a loud wood. And I scrambled out of bed, turned on the lights, and he's just on the ground. And he looks so embarrassed. <laughs> and he wanted out of my bedroom after that because he was so embarrassed. Well, that would be embarrassing, it fall was, off the bed in front of people. It was funny. And that's my dog getting hurt story. Well, he didn't get hurt. He didn't. But he could have. He could have. that's the scariest thing of all. Pain well, is around every corner. I saw Juice walking down the street, so I called him. And I picked him up, and I was telling him how to be careful outside, and then he climbed up on my head and jumped. <laughs> and that was the end of juice. He jumped off your head? He jumped off my head. <laughs> what, what did he jump to? The ground. Oh. I'm not very tall, so it wasn't a big... Yeah, so no, in case that's you're like nervous, a three-inch drop. Three-inch? Yeah. I'm five foot one. She's standing on the chair right now. we got the mic, the mic pointed down at her. I am five foot one. Oh, look at her jump up and down, trying to be all big and tough. I'm going to hurt you. How long is Mr. Foreskin going to chase after us? <laughs> Do they really us? think that this is going to be scary after the first couple minutes? I can understand where they're coming from. Like, after running from everything, the only thing you can do is stay close to the monster. But you didn't make it scary enough. Yeah, it's not near scary. He doesn't really do anything except just, you know, slowly walk down the hallway. 
Like if Jeff the Killer was here, that'd be way scarier. Who's Jeff the Killer? It's an old creepy pasta in the picture pasta? of Jeff. Pasta. Okay. Little history lesson. Okay, here we go. Uh, on the old internet, there were these horror stories called creepy pastas. Okay. And none of them were actually scary at all. All right. But some of the pictures from them did give me nightmares when I was a child. And okay. Jeff the Killer is one of them. Where was I at? <gasps> He's gone. Uh oh. We can keep going. We can yes, run. We finally got rid of it. We ignored the foreskin monster. Ours are, well, I mean, it's not intact, but that's not because of the foreskin monster. 